Sorry they were so late. Couldn't really get it together before that. Thank Uh, good evening. We'd like to call the Durham City Council meeting to order at 7.01 p.m. Uh, I'd like to welcome all of you that are here with us this evening. If we could just take a moment of silent meditation, please. Thank you. I would ask Councilman Brown if he would lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Madam Clerk, would you call the roll, please? Mayor Bell. Present. Mayor Pro Tem Cole McFadden. Councilmember Brown. Here. Councilmember Katati. Councilmember Davis. Councilmember Moffitt. Here. And Councilmember Shaw. Here. We have a proclamation, well, actually, not proclamation, some recognitions to uh, be given this evening. And I'd like to invite the following people to join me at the podium. Tanya Dotlick, coordinator of Keep Durham Beautiful. Uh, Joel Reitzer, director of general services. Robert Williams, assistant director of solid waste management department. Uh, Laura Webb Smith, the education coordination coordinator for stormwater services of the public works department. Thank you. Uh, we're here this evening to recognize Keep Durham Beautiful for assisting the city in preventing stormwater pollution, reducing litter, and promoting recycling through a grant product that was provided by Waste Management. Uh, the grant implementation is a partnership between city staff from Departments of General Services, the Public Works Division of Stormwater Services, Solid Waste Management, and Keep Durham Beautiful. And I'm going to turn this over to Tanya for her to make some comments on this, if you don't mind. Okay. Good evening, Mayor Bell and members of City Council. Thank you for providing an opportunity to share this exciting program with you this evening. Keep Durham Beautiful is a nonprofit volunteer organization working in public-private partnerships along with the City of Durham and Durham County. We are located within the City of Durham General S Department of General Services. Keep Durham Beautiful encourages residents, businesses, and community organizations to collaborate to conserve and enhance the appearance and environment of Durham and reduce waste 
through cleanup events, beautification projects, and educational activities. The grant that we are talking about tonight um, is called the City of Dur Durham Urban Tier Litter Prevention and Recycling Outreach Through Social Media. We are so grateful to our, um, our friends who are here to present a grant to us from Waste Management. Um, this is really generous and will really support our efforts to reduce waste and increase um, the beautification of the city of Durham. I'd also like to recognize the many contributions that are being provided by the City Department of Public Works, Division of Stormwater Services, and the Department of Solid Waste Management. Durham is experiencing an exciting period of growth, and with, with this increased activity comes a responsibility to increase our attention to the impact on the environment of litter while decreasing the blight, and the blight that is caused by litter. Roadside litter negatively impacts economic vitality and environmental quality, particularly in the waterways. Together with this grant award, we have initiated a pilot study to assess, educate, and find ways to de decrease the litter at five litter hotspots within Durham's urban tier. And we are beginning to work with the organizers of large public events within Durham to increase the rate of recycling at these events. Finally, we will assess the opportunities to add permanent recycling to public spaces in Durham. We look forward to this grant enhancing Durham's public spaces. And I'd, I'd like to ask persons from Waste Management, Amanda Fairley, Amanda Taylor, and Chip Dodd, uh, if you come to the podium for a few comments. Mayor Bell and members of the City Council, thank you for the opportunity to be here with you tonight. Waste Management has sponsored this Keep America Beautiful Think Green grant for the past five years. Um, each, there are a total of five grants and each one is of $10,000 and Waste Management helps to award these grants every year. The grant process is very competitive and Durham stood out as a worthy recipient due to its dedication to community improvement activities. This is evident in the city's effort to revitalize the downtown. We are excited to be part of this revitalization and we look forward to working with the city through the effort of litter prevention and recycling improvement activities funded by the grant. Thank you. members of the council recognize council Moffitt. I just wanted to welcome there's a, a group of college students in the back of the room from from Duke this time um, and I understand it's a class on ethics in an unjust world and I wanted to just say welcome everybody I'm going to tell you that much of the discussion around the agenda topics much but not all uh, transpired at that work session ten days ago we have another work session on Thursday for the meeting in two weeks and um, that's just my that's part of what you see. Great. Any other comments? 
If not, we will proceed with the agenda. I recognize the city manager for any priority items. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening, everyone. No priority items. Uh, likewise, city attorney. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. No priority items. And likewise, city clerk. No items, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the agenda is the consent agenda initially. That can be approved with a single vote. If a member pulls an item or a member from the public pulls an item, uh, we'll discuss that later in the meeting. And I'll just read the heading of each consent agenda item. Item one is approval of city council minutes. Item two is a grant agreement for construction of bicycle and pedestrian facilities on University Drive, tip number EB-5514. Item number three is Bobby Road, Herndon Road, Massey Chopper Road, roundabout sidewalk agreement. Item four is the bid report for December 2014. Item five is the lease between the city of Durham and Yarborough and Hesse Warehouses, LLC at 700 North Austin Avenue, parcel ID 111-319. Item seven is resolution authorizing a public art project on the North County 147 retaining wall on the south side of Willow Street, and I'll pull that item. Item eight is an item that can be found on the general business agenda as public hearings. I entertain a motion for the approval of the consent agenda items with the exception of item seven. So moved, it's been properly moved and seconded by the mayor pro tem, <coughs> seconded by Councilman Brown. Madam Clerk, will you open the vote? You close the vote? It passes seven to zero. Thank you, we move to item eight, general business agenda public hearings. Number eight is public hearing and recommended agreement for economic development incentive with A&J Capital Corporation. Mayor Bell, members of council, my name is Chris Dickey with the Office of Economic and Workforce Development. Okay. How's that? Okay. Mayor Bell, members of council, my name is Chris Dickey with the Office of Economic and Workforce Development. This agenda item for consideration is a proposed economic development incentive agreement between the City of Durham and AJ Capital Corporation. According to the agreement, the city will appropriate to AJ Capital Corporation up to $170,000 for capital improvements within the community development area located at 406 South Driver in Durham, North Carolina. The total pro project cost is of Ashley Corners is $525,336. The, pro the proposed project will produce approximately $355,000 in private investment with $170,000 coming from city funding, producing a, a 2.09 to 1 ratio of public to private funding. The thrust of the Neighborhood Revitalization Grant Program is to redevelop commercial buildings that will have a substantial impact on the physical, economic vitality of the affected neighborhood, which will ultimately, over the years, strengthen the City of Durham tax base in that area. The Poles Project is located along an OED-targeted commercial area located in Northeast Central Durham. Prior to the building being purchased in August of 2014, the City of Durham's Neighborhood Improvement Services Department in September of 2020 13 cited 406 South Driver Street as an unsafe building which contributed to a condition of blight, disease, and vacancy. ANJ Capital Corporation proposed project would eliminate these hazards that poses this imminent threat to the health and safety of the general public and is being recommended for funding based upon its alignment with the goals and objectives of the Neighborhood Revitalization Program. The project when completed Will be the building will be redeveloped into an 8,500 square foot mixed use commercial residential two level building. The floor floor will consist of four commercial bays totaling 6,250 feet, and the second level is slated for two residential apartments. Each will be approximately 1,125 square feet. The project, when completed, will stimulate new business development and provide additional housing opportunities in the neighborhood. City support is needed to assist AJ Capital Corporation to securing additional funding for this project. I'm here to address questions. Uh, you've heard the staff report. Uh, this is a public hearing. Let me ask our members of the council to have questions. Recognize Councilman Shule. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, <clears throat> thank you so much for this. Uh, I think this is a great project, and I'm really happy that we're doing it. It's a really important building at, at a really important corner. Um, I do have a couple of questions, <clears throat> excuse me, um, which Yes, sir. Can I? Is there any way we can put a photo of the picture of this building on there? Are you trying to replace my picture with a picture of building, <laughs> Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. <laughs> Just temporarily. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. It, it would be nice to have the, yeah. the photo up there. Yeah. Right, go ahead. Um, 
so uh, again, I, I, I emailed you these questions over the weekend, and I apologize for being so late with them. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what the first one is, do we require any kind of operating pro forma for the building? Um, do we feel confident in the success of the enterprise? I know that we're, we're not, uh, you know, what we're doing here is, is, is renovating a building. Uh, with our money, but do we have confidence in this in the sense that we've reviewed their pro forma and we feel, you know, pretty good about their opportunity for success? Yes, we do. Any, any project that, uh, well, neighborhood revitalization grant project that comes for you, we do a, a independent study within our, our office and a lot of times what happens, we'll contact a local bank and do a check and balances with the number and based upon the pro forma that we've examined and the, and the sources and uses of fund, this is a viable project. And it's important to notice that no fund, no city funds will be dispersed on this project until it's completely, completely finished. Okay, great. And then, uh, thank you for that. Um, and then the, my second question is, is uh, that the, uh, the developer says that there'll be, ha there'll be the, uh, their uh, housing units will be affordable units on the second floor. They'll be, as I understand it from the, from, from what they've uh, presented two housing units. And I wondered is with this, public subsidy, do we want to, uh, are we getting any kind of guarantee of, of long-term affordability of these units? Well, the, the purpose of the Neighborhood Revitalization Fund does not address affordable housing. Mm -hmm. As I indicated during the, uh, the, the, as I indicated, the thrust of the, per, uh, the program is commercial revitalization. Yeah. This project just happens to be a, a mixed-use project. The commercial developer, based upon my conversations with him, basically saw that there was a need in a particular area and said that he would like to put some affordable housing there. But as, a, it can, uh, as something that's in the economic development agreement, that's, that's not an agreement. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I, let me just say, I, I think that in the future it's something to think about. I, obviously, it's, it's too late for this one, but I understand that this is a neighborhood revitalization project, but when someone says they're going to do affordable housing, that makes me think, okay, and we're subsidizing it, are we going to give them you know, can we get some sort of guarantee of a, of a time period at a certain uh, AMI? So I just hope that's something that we'll, we'll keep in mind. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Steve. Are there other questions? Well, I, the reason I asked the photo to be uh, displayed, I, I think it's important to uh, at least convey to the public uh, what type of facility we're, we're making an investment in and what it does. This is a major corridor that we've invested in, and this is a neighborhood that we uh, – very focused and invested in, and I think this is going to be very positive. Now, another reason I wanted to put up there is a selfish reason. You see those, the way those stoplights are hanging up there, the arms and all this stuff, no wires, mm -hmm. and you go down to the south point, south side of the loss, and you look at all the strings of the way the lights are hanging. You know, give that some thought, Mr. Manager, as we go forward. It makes a definite difference in appearance, but good. Good, good, good shot here, but I appreciate your question, Steve. Appreciate the staff, and I appreciate the fact that we're able to support this project. Are there other questions? Recognize uh, Councilman Brown, and then the Mayor oh, Pro Tem. Uh, uh, Councilman Davis, and the Mayor Pro Tem. Davis. Well, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I also want to mention that this is right on the edge of the. Um, the census tract that we've been dealing with in terms of the uh, uh, mass poverty initiative. So uh, it's also important for that revitalization also. Recognize the Mayor Pro Tem. I think it's important to note too that the developer has strong ties with the city of Durham. In fact, we have raised him uh, in this community. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Attorney Rogers. Great. And so congratulations on getting this far in your project. Thank you. Are there other comments, questions? Does anyone in the public want to speak on this item? If not, let the record reflect no one else in the public wanted to speak. I'll declare the public hearing to be closed and matters back before the council. Move the item. It's been properly moved by the Mayor Pro Tem and seconded it down that way. Uh, <laughs> uh, Madam Clerk, will you open the vote and close the vote? It passes 7-0. Thank you. We'll move back to the consent agenda item, item 7, a resolution authorizing public art project on NC 147 retaining wall on the south side of Willow Street. Mark Awinski, is that, is he present? Mr. 
first mayor, city council, thank you very much. Um, you I'm have actually three, here. Three minutes, I'm sorry. Three minutes? Yes, there's a clock there. All right. Mm -hmm. My name is Mark Iwinski I, at 2902 Quince Moore Road in Durham, and I'm a visual artist and teacher residing here. I am here actually to support this mural and would like to address something that I saw that came up in the, in the newspaper, and um, I was concerned that the, the mural was being um, uh, discussed on issues with regard to whether or not it supported the Durham Bulls or it had a, a, a baseball kind of dynamic, and I really felt that this having seen some of the design elements for it, uh, pa uh, drawings for it, that this really sold the mural short. I feel that in many ways, its aesthetic quality and the character of it, its tradition in optical art, and its the linear quality in terms of would enhance the um, otherwise kind of drab character of that uh, chunk of concrete retaining wall. Um, I feel that uh, it goes a long way to uh, add dynamic color to uh, sometimes a rather, uh, how should I say, um, overuse of uh, beige in um, city planning and designing. Um, hope no one takes offense at that. Um, but I feel it's important that as we consider these kinds of issues in terms of the kind of city and the character of the city that we want to see, have the outside world see, I feel it's important that quality art um, be considered, to have, that it have aesthetic worth, and that we support this work. Um, as, as we go forward, you know, and, and as the city of Durham becomes a much more vibrant place, that we should have works of art that reflect that vibrancy. And I feel that in many ways, the character of this mural does exactly that, that it will take um, this rather small little area, this swath of concrete, and begin in a small way to address that concern. And I would like the, um, the city council to seriously consider um, supporting it and to pass the amendment to do so. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are there further comments on this item? Uh, this is before us. If not, I would entertain a motion Move on the on. item. It's been properly moved and seconded by the Mayor Pro Tem, <coughs> seconded by Councilman Shul. Uh, Madam Clerk, will you open the vote? You close the vote? It passes 7 to 0. Okay, are there any other items to come before the Council this evening? Well, I want to thank Councilman Shul for his comments. He said you guys had a rather short work session, which reflected in this meeting. And it was a work session that I was not present, so we're going to see if we can do something else about that, get, have more shorter work meetings and meetings. But anyway, appreciate everybody being here this evening. The meeting's adjourned at 7.22 p.m.